Today's obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansful Funeral Home. Funeral services for Jeffrey Don McCravey, age 45, of Vinemont, will be at 11 a.m. on Thursday, Coleman Funeral Home Chapel. The Reverends Paul Monk, Steve Rogers, and George Redding officiate in Termit and Friendship Methodist Cemetery. Coleman Funeral Home is directing. Visitation will be 5.30 to 9 p.m. tomorrow evening at the funeral home. Memorial services for Christy Earwood, age 37 of Coleman, are incomplete and will be announced at a later date by Coleman Funeral Home. Miss Earwood passed away on Sunday at Coleman Regional Medical Center. Funeral services for Marjorie Johnson, age 67 of Coleman, will be at 10 a.m. tomorrow at Livingston Chapel United Methodist Church. The Reverends Ron Gilbreth and Brady Kilgo will officiate. Burial will be in the church cemetery. The family will receive friends 9 to 10 a.m. tomorrow at the church. Moss service in charge. Miss Johnson passed away at her home. The family will receive friends from 5 to 9 p.m. tonight at the church. Funeral services for Julia Faye Jordan Ponder Thaler will be at 10 a.m. tomorrow at St. Paul's Lutheran Church. Pastor John Busman officiating. She will lie in state from 9 to 10 a.m. at the church on Wednesday. Moss service directs. Julia died Sunday morning at Cullman Regional Medical Center. She was 90 years of age. Funeral services for James Wade McBrayer, age 74 of ARAB, will be at 2 p.m. tomorrow at Moss Service Funeral Home Chapel. The Reverend Randy Booth officiating burial in Bethlehem West Cemetery. Moss Service in charge. Mr. McBrayer died Saturday at Marshall Medical Center North. Visitation will be 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Wednesday at the funeral home. Funeral services for Lori Mae Lindsay Wright, age 88, of Bailington, will be at 2 p.m. on Friday at Arab Heritage Memorial Chapel, burial in Bailington Cemetery. Arab Memorial is directing. Ms. Wright passed away Saturday at her residence. Visitation will be noon to 2 p.m. Friday at the funeral home. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansful Funeral Home. Welcome to Today on 2. It is Tuesday, the 18th day of June, and did we say it was going to rain? I think we did. We did. <laughs> I think we're going to say it's going to rain again. Yes, well, just, yes. What was yesterday? About every few hours. It, yes. Something yes. like that. It yeah. really looked serious about middle of the afternoon. It I think did. we had some straight line winds, but yeah. uh, nothing more than that, at least so far. Let's start with the weather today, brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. Our weather forecast calls for showers and thunderstorms today. Let's see, we have an uh, 80% chance of Ooh, okay. showers and thunderstorms again today with a high okay. of 82. Okay. Slight chance of showers continuing tonight, a low of 64. Then we'll see sunshine return tomorrow with a high temperature around 88. And that will continue for the next several days. Good. 88. For the high with sunshine for the next several days. Very so good. We get out of today and maybe early tonight, and then good. the humidity will be right up there oh, at 80% percent right. also. <laughs> we love it. We love it. But with all the activity going on outdoors <laughs> and so forth, 
You need some good weather. I hope it's beautiful and gorgeous for this Rock the South this weekend. I do too. I think I that, do too. Uh, and of course that we have so many events that take place throughout the summer months. So right. It's Out, always good outdoors. to get everything in. Yeah. Yeah, the weather did look a little threatening. Did your power go out in the afternoon? No, not that I know of. Yeah, mine no. went out for about an hour. Oh, uh, wow. Two to okay. three o'clock. Couldn't, hmm. And George said his went out, too. So hmm. don't know the reason yeah. for that, but uh, well, they did. Well, it doesn't take much sometimes it's for the power wind. to go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wind so. out of the wrong direction. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? I'm just... Um, okay. Is our computer up and running? No. no. Okay. okay. Well, do we, do we want to add lib our Facebook friend? We can tell who it is. Yes, we just won't we have can. a picture. Yes, it is Brian. Oh, well, okay. We do have that. Okay. Brian Bradbury. And Brian, we're glad to have you as our friend. He likes Marshall Tucker, Ma the Marshall Tucker Band. <laughs> Couldn't get that one out. But anyway, so we're glad that he's our Facebook friend of the day. And we're excited to have him. And also, do we have a, um, are we supposed to talk about Fest Hall today? Yes, we do. Yes, because yes, Fest Hall Market Plots is open today. Uh, it starts at 8 a.m., but they usually get there even a little bit earlier than that. So if you're on your way to work or something, you can mm -hmm. surely stop by. And they are open until 3 o'clock in the afternoon at the Fest Hall. And, of course, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays they do this. They have veggies. They have uh, bedding plants. I had bought a cucumber plant from them, mm -hmm. plus I had bought some other cucumber plants. Well, the one I bought from there already has a cucumber on it this long. Oh, right. Yes, it's a, yeah. Whoa. I'm I'm going to probably pick it in the next day or two. But uh, my other cucumbers are like teeny bitty. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm glad I bought that plant from them. And yeah, there are all kinds good. of wonderful things there. And I always stop by and get that sourdough bread. So anyway, go stop by and support the local farmers. They've got wonderful produce and it's just a good experience just to walk through. And it's always breezy in that area yeah. too. That's true. I went by on good. Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. They still had strawberries. Okay. Two vendors still had strawberries good. on Saturday. Good. And at least one vendor had peaches already. Oh, boy, and you've tomatoes. been asking about the peaches. Yes, and yes. I knew they had tomatoes, mm -hmm. but I had not seen the peaches yet, so yes. good for you. <laughs> you haven't seen cool. apples yet, but uh, I'll bet within the next month we'll have apples also. I always thought apples were a fall thing. Are they, well, are they I come? thought that too, but uh -huh. I talked to Linda Steele last year or the year mm -hmm. before, and she said, oh, no, we start, uh, some start getting ripe in July. Okay. Well, very good then. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, anyway, so go buy the best hall market pots. Yeah. Okay. George Spear is here. Oh, let's say we'll talk about uh, yep. our entertainment for I today. I guess it's Hope Alive. Is that the name mm -hmm. of the group? And they are doing the summer concert series every Tuesday, except for this pet. Well, today they're not having one. Right. Right? No Which concert is probably tonight. a good thing because of the weather. <laughs> that worked out nicely. But they have uh, pretty much every Tuesday during June and July, they have a concert in the park at Heritage Park. And so, Go by there and visit and, and, and enjoy the music. But if you can't, we bring it to you. So yep. Ted was out there filming, and you, you can even say hi to Ted on camera whenever he's out there. If you want to be on TV, he'll probably put you on there. There you <laughs> go. Okay, George is coming up next with news and commentary. There's stuff around your house, but we don't make stuff. We make ovens. Dual fuel double ovens. And they bake so evenly that now delicious is something you can depend on. We only make things for one room. The best room. Your kitchen. We're devoted to it. And you can feel it in everything we make. Nobody knows the kitchen like KitchenAid. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. At Premier Bank, we take pride in serving our community. We respect our customers, and we've won awards for our ethical conduct. We're motivated to do all we can for you, and we're interested in your banking needs. We're efficient, safe, and sound, and our relationships with our customers are second to none. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Time for news and commentary on a Tuesday. Another rainy day ahead of us, looks like. 
In St. Clair County yesterday, straight line winds knocked down trees, ripped a 40-foot section off the roof of Springville Middle School. Had a bunch of people scared in Coleman, too, didn't it? About 2 o'clock, some folks lost power. Two reports, people thought they saw a tornado. There was so much damage on their property. One near West Point, and I heard on the scanner uh, about 30 minutes later, someone in Holly Pond thought they had a touchdown. Just apparently straight line winds that caused a bunch of damage there. In Hansville, the debate to increase the city of Hansville's sales tax from 8.5 to 9 percent is causing quite a stir, of course, because the question is, can the police chief maintain the force that he's had? He seems to think that he'll have to cut people. And, of course, that's always a sticky subject for any elected official. When you're not elected, it's not a big deal. <laughs> but when you are an elected official and you have to raise a sales tax, that's not something you take lightly. Sammy Danford appointed the new United Way director. She's going to leave Coleman County's economic development role and take over United Way as the director. So congratulations to her. In Walker County, watch out. If you're over there in a small store or a restaurant, people are passing counterfeit $20 bills. So some of those eventually, well, I suspect, will go into neighboring counties if they don't get caught pretty soon. U.S. Secret Service coming to Walker County this morning to start investigating this. They're hitting small businesses, and that's sad because when you have a small restaurant, you know, the profit margin is not very good. And if you pass off counterfeit bills, that really hurts. Alabama Department of Transportation's first division engineer, Mr. Johnny Harris, we've talked to him before, he says, you know, what can you realistically afford to maintain and construct at the same time? He's talking about roads, and a lot of people are concerned about roads. How do you patch a patch on County Road 1246? I mean, it's like it's worse than a rub board. It's a mini Grand Canyon, you know. And the problem is, the problem is gasoline tax. More and more cars are fuel efficient. People buy them. Some even buy hybrid cars. The gasoline tax means there's less money. If the lower it goes in collection, the fewer dollars they have to build more. The problem is trying to maintain what you've got, and that is a chore in Coleman County. And some folks don't understand it. It's the life and death of a commissioner in many cases. We have paved ourselves into oblivion in Coleman County. Trust me, I've been in looking at budgets. I know because I've been there and been responsible, partially responsible for that. Indicator, they're asking the local folks and the local law enforcement, at least the uh, Decatur Daily is asking, what about this new legislation they've got up there in New Jersey? And they're asking law enforcement to, to give their thoughts about what's happening in New Jersey. That is, uh, a sheriff or a state trooper has the option of confiscating your cell phone if you're in an accident so that they can look to see if you were on the phone when it happened. If that's a contributory type factor, right? Law enforcement, and especially legislators, the short answer is probably that's something we're not going to be doing. That's according to Senator Arthur Orr from Decatur. He says that starts getting into improper seizure and confiscation, you know, whenever they start going to that point. In Limestone, there are they want money, it isn't everyone, to renovate their archives. They actually have an archives in just about every county surrounding Coleman County. They have archives. These are people who volunteer that keep the old record books. They keep the old records that really aren't used that much. But for people doing research, history, family, whatever, they're available, right? Coleman County, you'd think nothing ever happened before 1873 when John Coleman came walking down the tracks. The Civil War, what's that? If it happened before 1873, we don't know what that's about. We couldn't even get any local media to show up at the dedication of Hog Mountains as a tourist site. And they talk about dollars and uh, talk about heads and beds, as the mayor says, people who come. And it's good to have those kind of folks, you know, when it comes to uh, uh, spending the night and spending money. Well, oh, well. And I got this uh, in, in the email. I don't use everything I get in the email, thank goodness. But this was kind of interesting. This is to all the kids who survived the 1930s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, and even into the 70s. He said, first of all, we survived being born to mothers who may have smoked or drank while they were pregnant. They took aspirin, ate blue cheese dressing, tuna from a can, didn't even get tested for diabetes. 
As infants and children, we would ride in cars with no car seats, no booster seats, no seat belts, no airbags, ball tires, and sometimes no brakes. Been there, done that. Riding in the back of a pickup truck on a warm day was always a special treat, right? We ate cupcakes, white bread, real butter, and bacon. We drank Kool-Aid made with real white sugar. And we weren't overweight. And why? Because we were in the field, working in a garden. Because we were playing outside and not on a cell phone. We did not have PlayStations, Nintendos, Xboxes. There were no video games, no 150 channels on cable, no video movies or DVDs, no surround sound or CDs, no cell phones, no personal computers, no internet, no chat rooms. The past 50 to 85 years have, been, have seen an explosion of innovation and new ideas. We had freedom, failure, success, and responsibility, and we learned how to deal with it without government's involvement. The quote of the day, at least according to this one source, came from Jay Leno. He says, you know, with hurricanes, tornadoes, fires out of control, mudslides, flooding, severe thunderstorms, and tearing up the country from one end to the other, and with a threat of bird flu and terrorist attacks, are we sure this is the good time to take God out of our Pledge of Allegiance? Stay tuned. We'll have today on two after this. At Premier Bank, we're a bit old-fashioned. We actually answer the telephone when you call. However, old-fashioned doesn't mean we aren't up to date. With the latest technology, Premier Bank meets the various needs of our customers. Mobile smartphone banking, internet banking, ATMs, convenient offices. At Premier Bank, we have the right products right now with good old-fashioned customer service. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. A long time ago, a million years B.C. The best things in life were absolutely free. But no one appreciated the sky that was always blue. And no one congratulated a moon that was always new. So it was planned that they would vanish now and then And you must pay before you get them back again That's what storms were made for And you shouldn't be afraid for Every time it rains and he's from heaven. This part of our program, we try to give away some stuff. Some stuff. Good stuff. Yes. <laughs> Do I need to be specific? Yeah. I guess so. We're going to have the bag of apples from Steel Orchard as part of our stuff. And we have the lunch sandwich and chips from Frosting's Bakery. More stuff. That looks so That's good. That's what we're giving away. That is good, too. I know. Ooh. Okay, let's look at our ad. Starting with Renard's Gallery and Gifts, an art gallery for viewing and for purchase. Also, gifts, jewelry, custom framing. Really outstanding work on custom framing at Renard's Gallery and Gifts. Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue and Country Cooking. And that's located in the Berlin Quick Stop right there on Highway 278 and County Road 747. Special rates available for businesses. The H. Chance Christian Bookstore has a better way to shop for Christian entertainment. We're talking about the Maibo Color Tablet. Does the same thing as other tablets, only it's Christian oriented. Mr. Hicks Menswear has a third off his pinpoint striped shirts. And of course, he does have the businessmen's regular sizes, but he has the big and tall sizes for those hard to fit guys at Mr. Hicks Menswear. Uniform Place has clothing and items from head to toe for summer, Landau and Med Couture, uh, uniforms, Allegria shoes, all at Uniform Place. And the Tin Shop, heating and cooling is their specialty, and they have a ready to roll with a $39.99 service call special now through the month of June. So if you need to have your AC service, this is a way to do it, the Tin Shop. Tires for Less has Bridgestone and Firestone tires, but of course a whole lot more. They do oil changes, replace shocks and brakes, do minor engine repair, 
Stop by Tires for Less. And Earl's Body Shop, where you can have large and small towing available, local or long distance. And also, of course, they are a great body shop and have done a lot of work for me in the past on Highway 31 North in Coleman. Diabetic Shoes by Dr. Comfort, available at Borden Family Pharmacy, located on Highway 157 and Eagle Road, the finest quality diabetic footwear, period. Those are some of the merchant ads. Question for today, which advertiser has items from head to toe for summer? Oh my goodness, okay. Who has <laughs> items from head to toe for summer? Our telephone number is 256-734-7399. We have the bag of assorted apples from Steel Orchard and the lunch sandwich and chips from Frosting's Bakery. And remember, when you call in, listen to the telephone. Don't listen to the TV set because it's on a delay. Right, right. Listen to us on the telephone right. when you call in and give us the answer. A quick look at the weather forecast for today. We have an 80% chance of showers and thunderstorms today, a high of 82 30% chance of rain tonight, a low of 64. Sunny tomorrow with a high near 88. And I believe we have a caller ready to go. Hello, who's calling? Who's calling? Uh, Margie Marchman. And from where are you calling? Vinemont. From Vinemont. Okay, which business has items from head to toe for summer? Uh, the Uniform Place. There you go. You got it. Stay on the line, yeah. please. Thanks for calling in Uniform Place. Head to toe for summer. Let's look at the rest of our ads right now. Baldwin Counseling Center, Dr. Howard Rogers can help you with weight loss, individual and family counseling, lifestyle coaching. Call for an appointment today. And Brown and Company Beverages. It's a specialty wine and beer store. That's a beer cave, barware, and specialty items. They have a large variety of domestics and imports. They're located right there on Highway 157 next to the Ford dealership. All it takes is charisma and Doug Dogga Jewelers. Women change hairstyles, clothes, and their minds. They can change their jewelry to match with charisma. Mullins Body Shop. You've counted on them for over 50 years for auto body repair and for towing. And you can count on them today. That's Mullins Body Shop. Deb's Bookstore, your hometown bookstore just down the road. Deb's going to be with us tomorrow, she as sure a matter is. of fact, and tell us about her latest favorite books. <laughs> She's got quite a few. Night Free Insurance, visit them on the web, night-freeinsurance.com, or go by and visit them at their location at 410 First Avenue if you need to talk to them about any kind of insurance needs. Auto Tech does both foreign and domestic auto repair and service, located on County Road 1354 in Vinemont, beside Ridgemont Community Church. And the Choco Peanut Butter Brownie is the blizzard of the month. It's no, s'mores. S'mores, that's s'mores right. You're right. You're right. You're yeah, right. It that, is s'mores. That was last month. Yep. Okay, we're going to get that up and going for next week, for tomorrow. And right. uh, the Wellness and Aquatic Center has day passes available. Everybody's enjoying the facilities. Everything is open for the summer months right now. And those are the merchant ads we have for today. I think we have a birthday or two to tell you about yes, on the do. 18th day of June. Yes, we do. Alex Washburn has a birthday along with Crystal Baker and Jennifer Hill. So all of these people are going to be put into the drawing on Friday where they have that possibility of winning an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. Okay, coming up next, Concert in the Park Yay. right here on Channel 2. In the nation, our agents are always there, helping make sure that when your life changes, your nationwide insurance coverage changes too. We put members first because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation where protection is personal. Nationwide is on your side. Jessica with City Park and Rec, and we're starting off our concert in the park tonight with Hope Alive. They perform um, in various churches, and they play for Daystar most of the time, they said. So we're really happy that they're here, and it's a really great privilege, so I hope y'all take something from the message that they're giving y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming. We're sponsored by Coke, and we have waters up here if y'all need some, and I have schedules if anybody would like any. Thank y'all so much, and I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, we're Hope Alive. We're just going to have some fun. Is that cool?
Premier Bank, we are very proud of the long-lasting relationships we have with our customers. We'll go almost anywhere to meet your banking needs. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising, and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Meet the KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. It might just change the way you cook. Induction technology heats the pan and not the cooking surface to offer you a new level of precision, speed, and energy efficiency. Nine settings give you different levels of heat to achieve precise temperatures and amazing responsiveness. Water boils in just seconds, making this the fastest to boil induction cooktop available. The KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, 
I put on a fresh coat. Now it's time for our community billboards brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. The summer concert series, like you just saw, are taking place June the 25th through the July the 23rd. Go by Heritage Park at 6.30 on Tuesday evenings. And Be the Sitter That All Parents and Kids Want, Safe Sitter Babysitting Training Course is taking place. There are just two sessions left, July the 9th and 10th and August the 13th and 14th. You need to register your child today, 256-737-2600. And flashbacks are going to be in concert at the Eva School Gymnasium on Friday, July the 12th from 7 to 9 p.m. This is the Eva High School Alumni Association that's presenting this. If you have questions or want to buy some tickets in advance, give them a call at 256-734-9489. And if you have a community billboard you want to share with us, you can send it to channel 2 coleman at gmail.com, fax it to 256-734-7680, or be a friend on Facebook, Channel 2, spell out the number 2 Coleman. Our weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. It could be rainy again today, 80% chance of showers and thunderstorms, high of 82, slight chance of rain uh, in the early evening hours, low of 64, sunny again tomorrow with a high of 88. And who's coming to see us? We talked about this a little yeah, bit ago. We did. Deb Lastly will be here from Deb's Bookstore, and she'll be talking to us about her latest and greatest and most favorite books. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching today on, too. Hope you have a great day.